spent Fortnite removing this item shop emo after just a few minutes to even completely removing this skin from Winterfest. So here is every item Fortnite had to remove. But first, Fortnite just told me if you drop a like on the video, this will happen to you. But if you don't, this will happen. The choice is yours, so pick carefully. And remember to pop in code MMCS in the Fortnite item shop for 10 years good luck. Winterfest this year, it doesn't feel the same. Not only has the Winterfest cabin been removed, but Fortnite also removed this free skin. Last year, we got both the sled ready guff skin inside one of the presents, as well as the guff gringle skin, which you could claim for free from the item shop. Pretty cool. But this year, Fortnite ended up getting so many complaints from players saying they didn't want another guff skin as the free reward this Winterfest, that the guff must tree skin that they had lined up got removed last minute as one of the free Winterfest presents. So we're going to get some other free skins instead. And someone must have been trolling over at Fortnite when this happened. Because not too long ago in the Fortnite item shop, super old rare emotes were appearing in the daily refresh to then only be removed a couple of hours later. These were emotes that were never supposed to come back to the item shop. And Fortnite had to apologize over on Twitter for this mistake. But then only a couple of days later, the same thing happened again with the return of the rambunctious emote. And after just a few minutes later, it was then removed from the item shop again. What were Fortnite doing? Someone was definitely trolling over at Fortnite. But no one can understand why Fortnite removed Bud the Mushroom. Found in Weeping Woods during Season 2 was a mushroom that would come to life when you emoted near him. What's pretty cool is that he would then continue to follow you throughout the whole of the game, giving you a constant supply of shields. But just after 10 minutes of coming out after the update, Fortnite then removed him. And what about this next Fortnite emo? Because it was literally removed after just six minutes. Check this out. Fortnite had recently announced that it would be giving away $120 million to people creating custom maps. Yeah, you know these ones that you see in the discovery page. But this is where things went downhill real quick. Because at the same time they announced this, they were also firing 900 people working on Fortnite. This wasn't a very good look. But it gets even worse because that evening in the Fortnite item shop, Fortnite added the share the wealth emote. You know the one where you're holding a stack of cash and shaking it in your face and throwing it up in the air? Loads of people had just lost their jobs and Fortnite decided to add this to the item shop. It was super insensitive of them and Fortnite ended up removing it after just a few minutes. But what about the Fortnite emote that was removed before it was even released for being too sus? Well, back when Chapter 2 first launched, people found in the trailer an unreleased emote that never actually ended up making it to the game called Belly Dance. At this time, Party Royale had dropped and ended up being a place where just sus activities would happen. So Fortnite chose not to release this emo as they knew it'd be used in the wrong way. Yeah, Fortnite know what you guys are like. And I mean, the same thing happened to the Bear Hug emo, but that actually ended up being released and was removed after a sus glitch was found with it. Yeah, this one went a little too far. And Fortnite also saw what you guys did with the Infinity Blade. Just a few seasons ago, Kado Thorne arrived to the island bringing us brand new mythic weapons from Fortnite's past. And people got their hopes up that the Infinity Blade would be returning as they saw it in one of the loading screens for the Battle Pass that season. But it never got added. We then went back to Fortnite OG and people thought that we might see it again at the top of Polar Peak. This time though, the Infinity Blade actually got added to the files of the game but was never actually added in game. The last time we saw it was all the way back in Chapter 1 Season 7 and it was actually removed due to it being used in a cash tournament with big money up for grabs and it ended up completely ruining the tournament. It was so overpowered. So it looks like we're never going to see the mythic Infinity Blade ever again. And and do you guys remember the bandage bazooka? This was a cool item that was added into the introduction of chapter 2. But did you know there was a mythic version of it that was in game for just a few hours? In the bodyguard LCM, you could find this mythic bandage bazooka that only took up one infantry slot instead of two. It was super overpowered, but then a few hours later, Fortnite just straight up removed it from the game. And that's not the only unique feature Fortnite removed. During season 9, you could actually 
kill people with water balloons. This was normally just a toy emo, but with the Splashdown LTM releasing, they actually turned it into a killable item. Yeah, this was only in game for a couple of days and I kind of want it back now. How cool would it be? And what about the Star Wand pickaxe? The most broken Fortnite item ever. You would think with years of experience at this point that something as silly as this wouldn't be possible, right? Well, this pickaxe was doing 56 damage to players with each hit and an 84 damage headshot. So many people were buying this pay to win pickaxe just for this feature, but as soon as people found out about it, Fortnite had to remove it from the item shop to fix the issue. Let me know if you ever got the chance to use it when it was like this. From items being removed in minutes to even the whole point of interest being removed. Yep, during one of the updates in chapter two, both Holly Hedges and Believer Beach were accidentally completely wiped from the game. You could jump in game, land there, and Fortnite had accidentally deleted all the buildings and the surrounding area. How could you accidentally remove a whole point of interest, Fortnite? But what about a whole ending of a live event just being removed a few days before the live event actually happening? Yeah. This actually happened during the Fractured live event last year, which ended up, yeah, it was a pretty bad live event. Originally, the end of the live event, we were supposed to see the last reality in the mothership arrive to the island to steal the zero point once the chrome had blown the island up. And then as you can see, the freed zero point would then destroy the last reality mothership after they tried to abduct it. But obviously that never actually ended up happening and Fortnite just removed this part of the live event for no reason. Kind of annoying because it would made it 10 times better. And if you check your locker right now, you might be super lucky to own either of these two loading screens. What's super special about them is that they're both animated and they're the only animated loading screens that we've ever had. And there's good reason for that because Fortnite said that these animated loading screens will never return again due to making the whole game lag. Wow. And if you've never heard about these loading screens, then you might not remember this mythic item. Item, the Raptor Claw. It's been gone for years now. During the Fortnite Primal Season, the Impossible Escape Mode arrives, bringing you a set of challenges to complete to get this rare claw. I mean, not only was it super hard to find, but barely anybody played this mode. So what did this mythic claw actually do? Well, all it did was reveal parts of the map for you. Yeah, pretty pointless. So this mythic didn't last long along with the game mode. It was completely scrapped by Fortnite. So what about this? Fortnite are always known for bringing new items to the game and testing them. But one item got added and was removed just five minutes later. Footage of this is very rare, but we're talking about the Eye of the Storm Tracker. It was accidentally added as a wrong item and instead it was supposed to be the jetpack that should have been released. Pretty much, this Eye of the Storm Tracker would show you the upcoming locations of future storms. It's a shame because only a very few people actually got to try this out and it looks pretty useful. Talking about Fortnite adding and doing new things, all the way back in Season 5, Calamity was a brand new skin found in the Battle Pass, but she came with some very unique features that Fortnite had been working on that we'd never seen before. Whenever you emoted, you would see this. Yeah, news articles online destroyed Fortnite for these brand new jiggle physics, so Fortnite backpedaled and removed this feature they'd been working on for a while, only a day after it being released. And that was only the start of skins having problems in Fortnite. What if I told you that the Midas skin was actually removed from the game for a while? If you had the full golden version of Midas and kept pulling out the Spider-Man mythics over and over, a weird lighting effect and flash would occur and would cause everybody's game to crash, meaning no one got the win. Fortnite had to remove this skin along with all the others from Chapter 2 that had full gold edit skin styles to resolve this issue and it took them quite a while to fix before adding them back. 